projected tolerance zone or modifying symbol p is very important in controlling perpendicularity or tolerance of position in fixed fastener assemblies to avoid possible interference situation of bolt or pin with a clearance hole surface in the upper part my name is kevin kuto and in this video we are going to study the application of projected tolerance zone and other options to clear the bolt in case you don't want to use projected tolerance zone modifier in the feature control frame do subscribe to the channel it will help us to bring more such learning videos for you now before we begin this video let's understand fixed fastener assembly and possible interference problem in the fixed fastener assembly upper part has a clearance hole and the lower part either has threaded hole where the bolt will fasten the parts together or it would have interference fit of pin with the hole and this pin will be force fitted into the hole now it's very important to understand that the orientation of this hole will decide the orientation of the bolt or force fitted pin now if the upper part thickness is lesser than lower part thickness and if we control both upper and lower holes tolerance of position or perpendicularity tolerance zones by calculating tolerance value by fixed fastener formula the part should assemble nicely without any interference the problem occurs when the upper part thickness is more than the lower part thickness and the tolerance of position or perpendicularity are controlled individually because of the height of the upper part it will add up into the orientation of the bolt so as you can see this whole orientation is going to decide the orientation of the bolt and as the height of the upper part increases that means as height of the bolt increases this orientation of the hole will exaggerate into the bolt the more the height of the upper part more the orientation we are going to get for the bolt for the same tolerance of position or same tolerance of perpendicularity so what is the solution the solution is instead of providing and controlling tolerance of position or perpendicularity tolerance values on the lower part thickness if we control it considering the thickness of the upper part in short if we tighten up the tolerance of position or perpendicularity the bolt might clear off the hole as shown here this could be achieved by projected tolerance zone modifying symbol when we use projected tolerance zone modifying symbol we control a threaded hole tolerance of position or orientation in the lower part and we control it for the height which is equivalent to thickness of the upper part and the tolerance zone will be located above this blue part or the lower part and this is achieved with the help of projected tolerance zone now it's very important to understand that this feature axis or the axis of unrelated actual mating envelope for this lower threaded hole has to be within this projected tolerance zone now let's understand this in details now as we see here this is a lower part with m6 threaded hole and we have position given at diameter 0.25 at maximum material condition and there is p modifier here that means we have projected tolerance zone and there is value 14 after this p modifier and this is with respect to datum a b and c now what does it mean it means that this tolerance zone is not inside the material but this is projected above this surface of the lower part so as you can see this projected tolerance zone is diameter 0.25 and this is at the height of 14 mm this 14 mm represents the height of the upper part that means the part with the clearance hole and in this case this feature axis or the axis of unrelated actual mating envelope of this threaded hole has to be within this projected tolerance zone if there was no p modifier here in that case the tolerance zone will be located inside the material for the height of this hole and in that case this feature axis or the axis of unrelated actual mating envelope has to be within that tolerance zone but since here the tolerance zone is located above this is more stringent compared to when we don't have p modifier into the feature control frame now this is needed only if upper part thickness 
is more than lower part thickness because in that case only we can have situation where bolt or pin can interfere with the clearance hole and as i explained earlier if the height of the upper part increases or the thickness of the upper part increases this problem can become more and more severe or realistic now there is another way of showing this as well so the only difference here is i have not shown any value after p but here again we are using projected tolerance zone and this height of the upper part or the height of the tolerance zone is shown here into the engineering drawing of the lower part with this pantom line and we are showing dimension 35 it shows that this particular tolerance zone is applied on 35 mm height as shown here so we can show the height of this projected tolerance zone here or in the drawing itself both the ways are valid ways now what if we don't want to use projected tolerance zone modifier but your design allows to increase the size of the clearance hole in the upper part to clear the bolt now it's very important to understand that we can't have bigger hole in all the cases especially when the parts are aesthetic now let's understand the calculations where we are going to understand what is the minimum clearance hole size to clear the bolt so here we have two parts we have lower part and upper part the lower part has a threaded hole of m8 i have not shown all the specification here but the thread size is m8 the position control is given diameter 0.2 at maximum metal condition with respect to datum a b c and the height of the lower part is 10 mm similarly we have a clearance hole and we have to decide what is the minimum clearance hole size to clear the bolt of m8 when it is going to be assembled into this hole we have position control which is 0.2 at maximum metal condition with respect to a b c now this position control is derived by the fixed fastener formula so i'm not going to cover that fixed fastener formula here but what we are going to understand is when we have these two parts with these specifications what should be the minimum diameter of this clearance hole so that it clears the bolt size of m8 now we are going to give this nomenclature here so our d is the minimum clearance diameter which we want to calculate then we have height h1 for the upper part and then we have height h2 for the lower part we have tolerance 1 t1 for the upper part and we have tolerance T2 for the lower part and we have a maximum size of M8 that means that will be F or fixed fastener size. Now with this we can use the formula and calculate the minimum clearance hole diameter. So D is equal to F which is nothing but this 8 mm plus T1 which is 0.2 plus T2 which is 0.2 multiplied by 1 plus 2 into h1 and h1 is the height 1 divided by h2 which is this height here and if we put all these values what we get is d is equal to 9.2 now 9.2 is the minimum clearance hole diameter of this hole which will clear the bolt size of m8 for the 20 mm height of the upper part now this is the minimum clearance but we should have some kind of tolerance on that the minimum limit here we want to keep it as 9.2 so that's why this limit is zero the upper limit value i want to decide based upon how much tolerance i can provide it on this right now i am providing 0.1 but you can decide this based upon what kind of manufacturing process you want to use and what it grade you are using there so if i know all these position controls or perpendicularity controls or the thread size and the heights i can easily calculate what is the minimum size of the hole required in order to clear the bolt here in this case i need not use projected tolerance zone but as i said this bigger hole may not be a good idea in all the cases where the part is aesthetic this may not look good and that's where we have to use projected tolerance zone but in case the parts are hidden instead of projected tolerance zone you can decide the whole size by using this formula if you find this content useful do subscribe to the channel it will help us to bring more such learning videos for you